Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battletech. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we try to salvage this situation. Decker died last episode. I'm not really sure if he's dead or not, but this little guy didn't die when he stepped on it. So, Receiving you. yeah, really nasty, really nasty. Uh, let's see what I can do here. I got a particle cannon that is ready for good things to come, so this thing has plenty of good range. So I'm gonna try and move up over there and uh, see if I can kill that little guy with a particle right. cannon. And I say a little guy, but uh, it's, just, it's, it's nasty. It's really nasty. Uh, let's go with this, let's get one shot over there, and let's get one shot over here, I would say. So, B for you, particle cannon, oh yeah, oh yeah. Engaging multiple targets. Get wrecked. <sighs> and that was the only thing I needed to destroy. <laughs> That's what you get. Good things. Hostile removed. Yep. Good things happen to those who lose team members. Commander? <sighs> okay, so you're a little bit overheating. I am not too concerned with that. Uh, although the auto can let's reduce that and let's see what I can do here So if I move you up over here That's a good one. I'm gonna move Got you it. up again You are you have been taking a little bit of fire or a little bit of hit, but uh, it is okay Let's see what I can do here Roger that. with those two things Okay, a little bit of damage minus evasion Sounds good to me Vic. What can you do? You can do amazing things, I know. I've seen you do amazing things. Uh, that's perfect. That's perfect over there. Of course, they're going to be taking less damage because they're in the forest. I think. It looks like it. That's all of our lines. All weapons committed. Uh, not great. Oh! Center torso destroyed. Pilot incapacitated. Enemy mech destroyed. And we're inspired. Despite Decker's death. Okay, so we got a locust up there. We should probably move in and try to go for melee. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do here. So in terms of melee damage, you are the best. Uh, unless I'm not... Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Commander? You're the best. Although the other ones have, like, auto cannons and things. Uh, so I can't jump up there. I don't have that. Does anybody else have that? Yeah. You're the only one that doesn't. Hmm. Well, in that case, let's get Medusa. No, let's get Vic to go up here and then I'm gonna jump if I can I don't think I can I think that looks that probably is a movement uh, thing yeah I can't uh, okay I can brace waiting for order can get lit glitch to move over there and brace as well uh, the idea is to just hunt them down or we'll see how that goes because I don't know if they're running away they very well might be okay Move on. Oh, she didn't get to evasion. Oh. Huh. Okay. We're good. Let's see what they do. Uh. Some visual. It's good. Taking quite a lot of hits there. Not really too concerned about that. Uh, then you are gonna jump. You have visual. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Engaging jump jets. Yep. Just don't break your stuff. Okay. And you can't fire on that. It's fine by me. Let's just defend. Okay, Medusa. Yes, commander. Can you long range missile that guy? Let's see. Do you have line of sight? Yes. Unless I'm really. No, we have line of sight. Okay. We have good line of sight as well. No, 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 that's being blocked. I don't know if it's being blocked at the end. That one is not being blocked. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Copy that. Come on, Medusa, let's do some things here. Okay. Go for a shot. Short, short lasers are not going to do it. Go for a headshot. 2% chance. On target. Well, that worked. That was pretty good. And now let's get glitch Commander? to see what I can do here. Of course, it's all going to be down to uh, actual line of sight. Coordinates received. And now she's cool. 
We're okay with that. And large missile or large laser. Let's see what happens. Commencing alpha strike. Ooh. And there we go. Not great. But more importantly for Enemy me, down. I think, is uh, figuring out if Decker is indeed dead. Good shooting. Mission. Mission terrible. Just don't say it was successful because Decker. Yeah, your performance was exemplary, Commander. I'll ensure that the Magistracy High Command hears about your skills. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I've destroyed that. That's very good. And next, what do I get? So I have killed in action. Decker is gone. These are not destroyed. Are they destroyed for good? Or uh, I think they are destroyed for good. Medium latent. Yeah. Decker is dead. How did he not die? Maybe it's impossible for them to die in the first mission. Oh, that might be what it is. Okay, so we're not using light, light, light these guys anymore. These are weak enough. I am not using light tanks, uh, light things anymore. I mean, I should. I should though. Uh, let's see. We have some of that, so I'll take it. Uh, that's a uh, panther. That's for light. Do I have any medium? Uh, we didn't fight any medium, so we don't have any medium. Uh, let's see, so we got a, uh, sp oh no, we can have a, a full spider over here. What is the spider? Yeah, I can have a full spider, let's go with that. Confirm, and see what we have. Salvage assigned, we got auto cannon. 20, that's very short range, isn't it? It doesn't say, it does it? It, uh, it does. It's an interesting tank, or interesting thing over there. Bunch of jump jets, some ammo, heat sink, and uh, a bunch of, yeah, we got some pretty good stuff over there. And uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I mean, losing Decker is kind of nasty, but ah, eh, it just it's fine. It should be fine, hopefully. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Thank you very much. Um, the Spider Five V is m in my hands, and Decker has died. No empty base. So how do I? So I can put some of these in storage. So I can't send this guy to storage, but I can scrap the mech, which I kind of want to. So the mech's components will be stored in the chest and its chassis removed permanently from your inventory. That's pretty good, because I can make money out of what I got. And it's basically the same mech, so it doesn't matter. And, yeah, mech base. Let's see. We're going to need to store some of you guys, um, which is a problem. Let's see. I have this guy again. Does he come? Yeah, he comes with things. He's very jump jetty. Uh, I don't like... Why is he so low on firepower? It's kind of incredible. Because he's just, he's just weak. Uh, okay, so we're gonna worry about the mechs in a little bit because I first need to look at what I have here in my contracts. Actually, maybe I need to talk to these guys. I have answers. No, I'll I don't. see you. I'll see you later. Okay, let's look at the contracts first. Oh no! Before I look at the contracts, let's look at the um, at the uh, monies. I don't have a store. This thing doesn't have a store. Ten percent price increase. What's the plan? Yeah, why are why can't I hire you? This mech warrior will only work for you if you have a MRB rating of 200 or higher. Okay, that makes sense. Ready for orders. Okay, good stuff. So I'm not I I don't really know if I want them. So Yeah, I don't have a store here. That's interesting. This is abandoned. So that's why. So, probably should have thought about that, uh, you know, considering that, that I came in here while... Um, while having to travel and all that, maybe knowing where I'm going is important. Stealing is a form of flattery. Uh, that sounds like a good thing. We finally wind a possible location. We need a few brave and plausible deniable, plausibly deniable mercenaries to locate. And yeah, that should be okay. So, heavy mechs, I'm probably gonna go with that. Uh, so, contract uh, for this one, I can negotiate and have a little bit more money. I'll go with that. Because I can't go that high, but I can do this. So, if I accept, 
Finalize contract and deploy. I need to deploy. Okay. So, uh, go into the base. Let's look at our mechs over here. Let's refit. Be uh, well, actually, I can't refit too much. But I kind of wanted that to go away. So, is it a good idea to sacrifice some of this stuff? Well, I have... Everyone is ready. Everything is ready. So, I have all the mediums that I'm going to go with. But... Because things are going to take one day. I can look at this guy and start taking away jump jets. Right? <laughs> uh, I can put the jump jet over there for the for the thing. Let's confirm and see what it is. Three days? How about if I remove that? No, two days. I, I wasn't three days. It is two days. Okay. It costs that much money. It's still two days. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. Because, yeah, so basically we got the same guy as before. Um, because um, uh, moving it takes one more day, so I could, I could, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, our tonnage is good, I'm going to confirm, and it's one day. Uh, mech tech rating of three, zero days. So it, it's just one day because removing jump jets apparently costs no time. Good. Let's confirm. Logged and noted. Good. Uh, Shouldn't be too hard. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I have a different sort of mech. Actually, this this I might want around because this guy has uh, long range missiles, and it's just basically meant for for long range missile fighting. That can help, actually. But I'm not gonna go with it on this mission because I think this is gonna be um, a defense mission. So let's see. Oh, or maybe not. We have long con suspected that there is a Capalon research station hidden in the Lingguan system, and we've finally gotten wind of its possible location. We need a few brave and plausibly deniable mercenaries to secure the location for a dropship extraction of any valuable specific personnel. So it is sort of uh, securing a location, so I don't know if I'm going to need um, any any defense, so I will, I will have to, uh, to think on that. Long and hard, so we're waiting for that. Yes, come on. Hi, Pioneer. Uh, you're not my best one. You're my best one, so you are also the same as me. Standing by. Uh, Glitch Good has go. that and probably going for one of these. Good to go. And then you're that, and I probably will go for Manor? another one. So, Glitch, what do you have? You got sensor lock. Uh, are you good at piloting? You're not very good at piloting. You're Standing good at by. piloting. Um... Waiting for orders. So, Glitch, I could give you this. Select a target within sensor range to reveal it until the end of the current round and remove two of its evasive charges. That is very nice. Um, to reveal it. But that's for somebody that goes up to the front. So, Guts over here. When remaining stationary gain guarded. That's pretty good. I'll go with that. Uh, and piloting is always going to be a good thing, so I'll... Get those up. Mech warrior training complete. Whereas Behemoth has guts. Uh, gain guarded when remaining stationary. Yeah, I'm gonna need a pilot. It's gonna be. It's gonna probably be you. Training confirmed, Commander. So glitch. Uh, not glitch, Behemoth. Good to go. Behemoth has got guts because I want her to melee, right? Successful. Yeah. So for melee, it's not very much about being evasive. So like the target within, yeah. It's more of that. What is that gonna do for me? Minus one to indirect and direct. Training complete. Yeah, let's go with that. Just have maxed out normal skills or the best I can have have them anyway. So that's good. And now we can take the contract. So go with that. Negotiate. Basically that. Accept. Uh, I am gonna go with the Shadowhawk. Yep. Put it over there. And it doesn't really matter, I would say. Let's see, melee. What are we doing? So you are you have pretty good melee. Everyone has pretty good melee. So Behemoth over there. Sounds like a good thing. And then we have Pioneer Pioneer standing back. And uh Yeah, I know they're underweight. Off we go. So loading screen. Just load the loading screen. I just want to read the Description. So there it is. Commander, plausible deniability is our specialty. Yes, I need to capture the Kaplan Research Station. 
Sounds good to me. The money is good, so hopefully it's good things. Command interface initiated. Copy that. Now we're here to capture the Kaplan Research Station. Let's get our forces to a position where we can better observe the enemy movements and get eyes on the facility. Eliminate opposition and take control of the territory, Commander. Sounds good to me. Let's get Behemoth yes, on. Commander. Uh, let's get her... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we have that. Sounds simple enough. Not a good thing there. Sounds simple enough because we have protection. Of course, we might be ambushed. Defensive turrets. I should have brought the little guy. Receiving you. Get Behemoth in. Oh, it's a long trip. Confirmed. Moving out. Let's go. Copy that. We got contact. So start the combat. Oh, I think I got contact because of sensors, rather than visual. So we are in combat, and we have those guys over there. Commander. Uh. You have a lot of yes, armor on that beast. What's up, boss? Uh, I'm gonna want you going fast. Maybe a little bit too fast. But all I want is line of sight. Is this a terrible idea? She got plenty of armor. She can stand. Rough terrain is not gonna help, but... Yeah. She's evasive and stuff. And we got that guy over there, so we can even Commander. bring them down with our long-range missiles. Which is the idea here. Um, but first, let me see who else I, I have. I got auto cannons over here, and basically Medusa is the only orders. one that can actually do anything about this. Uh, let's keep you moving. Position confirmed. And uh, let's fire. Fire that. I copy. Didn't even look at the chances. Not too shabby. Is that a control sta uh, control turret? I wonder. I need to left click. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Then we have glitch. Moving fast. Well, as fast as you can with that little guy. <laughs> oh boy, it's a centurion after all. The squatness of it is warranted. And off we go. I think next turn or next. What was it? what they call it? Phase turn? Not turn. They have a name for it. Session, not session. Definitely not session. We'll be able to attack with these guys. They've got a sensor lock on me. Minus two evasion is nasty. Huh? Interesting. I don't think it dealt damage. Good. Okay, so they go with the last one. So we have. Plenty of movement here. Good to go. Uh, and we have Medusa. So the problem with Medusa is that I also I might be able to move him up there, but I'll need to use for glitch. Uh, she gets line of sight over there. That's fantastic. Can I get? No, it's the only place. Waiting for order. Oh no, sorry. What can I do for you? So, that's good. Uh huh. Let's see what you can do. She has. Auto cannons and long range things, medium lane. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go with it. Here we go. That's nice. Okay, that's minus one of them. There's somebody else back there though. Smoke them. Uh huh. It's a pretty cool factory. Okay, so that one is our target. Yes, come So Behemoth needs to just really not die. Affirmative. <laughs> um, I'll. All right, you should have a good view of the research facility now. Be careful of additional forces. Reports are that they have additional units in the area that are rallying back to at the base. Expect contact. Commander, a word of warning. We have, ba we have reports this base may have gun emplacements for point defense. Turrets, boss. Just keep an eye out in case they are online. You idiot, Darius. I have been dealing with them. Shut up. I'll probably shoot this guy. Because... Roger that. It's probably better. A lot of damage there. I, it does seem that lasers do more damage, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Keep moving. And let's see if we have line of sight over there. Auto cannons. 
See if the lasers. So the lasers aren't fired. As long as they're not highlighted, they're not fired. Sounds good to me. But we do, might have somebody else over there. We probably do. Uh, no, we're yeah, we're, yeah, definitely do. Unless, of course, they don't have sensor lock. Um, oh, we're out of combat. Enemy detected. Okay, are we in combat? We're not in combat. Keep moving. On it. Okay. Moving to position. I don't think we're in combat because we're not in. Uh, we are in combat now. We don't have them locked. I mean. Ready for orders. Behemoth, what can you do? You have line of sight already. Do you have line of sight from here? No. Okay, that's good. So I move you over here, but then. Movement is, like, evasion is kind of important. Eh, let's go with that. Copy that. Okay. Uh, and now... I need to fire on you. Everything that I have. Okay. Are they all armor? Yeah, they are. They only... That's why... That's why lasers are better, because they, they penetrate... No, they have a single slot of armor. Good. Uh, for orders. Medusa, you are going to be able to do some nice things, but it doesn't matter where you are. Heading out. Because you're only going to be able to use the long-range long, long range missiles, which should be easy to, to land, because... Firing on target. Oh. Yeah. I need it a little bit more. Those things don't do that much damage. Waiting for orders. Um, no, which is another thing that I really need to take into consideration. So, um, I will fire a single shot over there, and I'll have as a backup. I'll have. Uh, so this is B. Okay, A. Auto cannon definitely can do the work. That's a very good hit chance. Uh, no medium laser. Medium laser is gonna do the work. Let's see what happens. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. Yeah, almost dead. Now would be a good time for firing. There it is. To firing the um, the missiles. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I wasted I wasted that missile salvo. Didn't need that. Uh, I will have some line of sight over here. Let's see what I can do here with Vic. I don't actually know what she's going to be able to fire. Auto cannons. Just need one. Engaging target. Target destroyed. There it is. You never know. And I now I need to pacify the area around the research, uh, the research station. Oh, they. Additional enemies detected. Oh no. Oh, maybe maybe it's okay. I think they're sprinting. Or something. I'm not. I mean, we're not in combat, so maybe they are just sprinting and they can. Oh crap! Hi. 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 Behemoth. Waiting for orders. Can you? Oh, we have. Oh, okay. This. This is why me mediums. Yep. This is why mediums. No, that guy deserves a really nice shot in the face. Um, I'll select everything. No, except for the s short lasers. Those are backup. Uh, okay, so we can keep moving. And have very good line of sight on that guy. Confirmed. That's medium as well, I think, that other guy. This is rough terrain, so it's going to be trickier to stay upright. What does he have? He's got medium lasers. Mmm. And he is a light one. Okay. So... How is he... Oh, he has very little armor. Well, in comparison. Uh, that was like, how, how does he have that much armor? Or that, that much weaponry. Well, he's not carrying anything else. Uh, so let's just... Uh, maybe a precision strike. Uh, let's go for the torso. Okay, short range missile. Inflicted some heavy damage. You did. You did. Uh, I don't know if you hit the torso, though. Oh, they're doing their thing. Oh, no. That's a Centurion. Miss. Mmm, a few hits. Ooh, what a... an ambush, basically. 
Okay, yeah, I did hit this torso, so all I need is another... Standing by. We can do another one. Okay, this is great. Uh, so I'm gonna need somebody with... I hear ya. Long range stuff, which probably is gonna be Vic. Uh, she does have the sniper auto cannons, which might do enough damage. I don't know if I can hit it with the medium lasers. I really want to. It looks like I can, although the to hit chance might be terrible. So let's go with that. And Vic has plenty of uh, plenty of armor as well, so should be fine. Well, I hope we'll be fine. Let's see what happens over here. Let's go with uh, a precision strike on the torso. Okay, well, please don't miss. Engaging target. No medium. Okay, no more precision either. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, let's see. You can do good things as well. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's go. I read you, Commander. Moving out. We're exposing our back to the other guys that are coming from the other side, but they're still not visible, and I might be able to bait them. I mean, like, they might they will shoot at us in a very precarious situation. I wonder if I can hit. Let's see. Tab. Tab doesn't work. I don't have one sight. Uh, okay, fire. Uh huh. Twenty-nine damage. Orders. Behemoth. What do you have? So we know these are mechs. We know she has plenty of armor. Um. And I need to protect this line. So we got long-range missiles that will help me. And I kind of wanted to move over here. And see what I can do. Move order received. I don't think we're gonna. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with the other guys. I just need to focus on one of them. It is a little bit scary. Uh, so I can fire on you. Firing. Oh, come on. But it's unsteady. It's still not unsteady. It's almost there. Okay. Here they come. Oh, no. It's another medium. That one is not. Right? That's a medium. Ooh, this is interesting. Cute. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Uh, what is that? That is a commando. It's... Uh, what is it? Light mech. Okay, that's not too bad then. So what do you have? Machine guns and the medium laser. Machine guns are... Okay, how much damage would they do? Or do they do? I wonder. Um, but Behemoth is Let's right next go. to you. She is going to wreck you, sir. You are not going to enjoy what is about to happen. But anyway, that's going to be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Battletech. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.